All right, guys. Um, I'm here with a uh, review for the uh, new XM Studio Starscream from the Transformer line. I believe he is, he's the second one, but I believe there's five of them out, uh, coming out. So Me Optimus Prime was the first one. He's the second. Megatron will be third. Bumblebee, I think, will be fourth. And fifth will be Grimlock. And sixth will be Soundwave, I believe. I, I believe they released photos for Soundwave recently. Um, so I got him in the mail today. He weighs around, the box came in around like 110 pounds. Uh, three day DHL, get as fast while you can, right? Um, he himself, I, I, I think he will weigh around like 60 to 70 pounds. There's some change out pieces and we'll get to that part. Um, so he's around height wise, 32 inches, length 23 and depth, depending if you have the cape on in the back will be 21 to 18.5, 19. Um, here's the Air Commander, um, Decepticons, and this will be his uh, F-15 Eagle that he transforms into. And I believe his speed will be Mach 3, which is like 2,300 miles per hour, fucking super fast. So, and he has actually, a lot of people don't know this because I'm, I'm a big Transformers fan, uh, fan. His Allspark, the life force, can never be destroyed. Um, and that's a cool thing that a lot of people don't know. A lot of Transformers have Allsparks and his just can't be destroyed. So even if he dies, his, his life force wouldn't. So that's kind of cool. Um, so let's get into the base. Let's do some close-up. Cybertronian base, as you can see. And the cool thing about it, I like this piece. Because this is what they've had um, Optimus Prime the uh, the truck on, and then also his jet, which is the, I think it's the F fifteen. I believe it's the F fifteen. Yes, F fifteen Eagle. So I did like that. I'm guessing this will be um, Prime or Unicron the base, because the hand. Because you know Unicron was split in two, so. That would be, I guess that would be the base. So it comes in three pieces, the base. So you have one piece here. This keys in right here, pretty big. And then you have the second key base right here. This will key in, I believe it was right here, maybe right here, not too sure. Um, so it's kind of like, it, it's kind of cool. Like he's flying up. It's like something is grabbing him. And I think what, what sold me on this was the pose. I love the, the freaking pose, man. I don't know why, I just love the pose. And the cool thing, and this is one of the cool things where like sometimes, you know, a lot of people say about XM Studios when they change something, or like the gambit, I think they said they that people were complaining about. To me, you know, sometimes you gotta, you know, with, with, when, the, when he was first um, shown at, uh, I think it was uh, Singapore, he didn't have any of this. He didn't have the cape, he didn't have these arms, he didn't have the crown. He didn't have any of that. He just had, it was his body, the base, and this piece. And then he went up for pre-order and everybody pre-ordered him, including myself. And then they were like, hey, we're gonna add these other pieces. And it's not like the cost changes, the shipping changed, but I mean, what are you gonna do with that? You know, if, if you live, if you don't live in the States, then your shipping wouldn't be that high. So let's see, let's just give a close up here. So let me see if I could turn this. So the baddies key in on the top right here. Let me see if I can open this up. So, that's cool. So look at that. Look at that smile. Conniving, man. Just like a backstabber. Look at that. It's beautiful. Go down here. They did a really good job. We're still making him look like new. And the colors pop, but not too much, right? The red seems similar to the same red they have for Optimus Prime. See the wear and tear a little bit on there? Really beautiful. I like how this has like a little shimmer to it. Let's see. Really nice, really nice detail. I think this will be the last one though from the Transformer line for me. I think uh, I just don't wanna have too much space taken up from the same line. I mean, I wish I can get the other ones, but well, maybe Soundwave, Soundwave is a beautiful statue. So let's get a pitch, let's get a little turn around of his back area. 
So let's see the case. This is, I don't know what this is made out of, but it's pretty lightweight. So I was worried it would break because it did get held up in customs for an extra two days and I was really scared. And the cool thing about this is right here, it sits right here, but they have like a little cushion. And I like that part a lot. Um, I'll be able to get a lot of his, uh, the back of him once I take the cape off. So, you know, he, he has that mentality where he wants to be the leader, you know? He can't wait for Megatron to die and he could just be the leader of the uh, Decepticons. Look at, this is beautiful, man. This is beautiful. Look at this. Look at all that. Amazing. I mean, like, my wife loves um, the Batman uh, uh, Shogun. She loves that one. She feels like that one's more like a museum statue. But I really like this one here. This is a beautiful, look from the top. Beautiful. So this is a separate piece. Obviously the cape is a separate piece. When you take the cape off, this is keys in and it covers the uh, the, the open uh, keyhole for the cape. Then you got the arms change out. Let's do another one. Let's just spin around here. Okay. Look at that. Side. Beautiful, look at this, look at the detail. I think he's, I mean, I don't know if he's better than Optimus Prime or just because he's more new for me, but he is beautiful, man. And you know why I like the pose too? Because it's very, it's very cocky, this pose. It's very like, oh, I'm the, you know, I'm the man, I'm the best. Like no one can, can stop me. And I, and, and that's his personality, right? All right, so. Let me switch out the parts and then we'll take it from there. All right, guys, here he is um, with the uh, change out pieces. I should have did it the other way around, but whatever. So this is the way he was originally displayed at uh, um, in Singapore. And I was sold, I think a lot of people were sold on him like this. And then they went off and they, and they updated him and they added the other two arms, the cape and the alternate uh, portrait. And I mean, they didn't hike up the prices for that. I mean, yeah, shipping costs a little bit more, but who cares about that? That's just, yeah. So you get a clear vision of him, if you can see from here on how he is. Let's see if we could turn him this way. See? So you get the, you know. I think also the gun was a different color in, uh, at the con, but um, I like it this color because it's all this here. It'd be weird. I think it was gold. That would be weird. Let's see the back of him. So this is the way he looks. Beautiful. Let me see if I can get him in focus. Beautiful. The one thing is, and I don't know, I'm not gonna say it's just me. I didn't see an art print. I didn't see that. I don't know if they went away with it. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't, I don't know. But I didn't see an art print in there for him. Did I even see an art print for Optimus Prime? No, I don't think they had an art print for Op Optimus Prime either. What well, it has something to do with contracts. Nah, whatever. But this is cool. So, let's see, I want him to bump the wall. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, that's pretty much sums up everything. Look at the muscles here, that's cool. So his body's one. You have one change out. You have this comes separate. This piece comes separate. The back comes separate. Obviously, the two arms come separate, and the portrait comes separate. And the body's heavy. The body weighs. And you could change that. You know, you could put the crown head there if you wanted to. Um, you could probably even put like the other arms there if you wanted. To. I don't think it's gonna cut the cape and then just go second. So you could put both. So there you go, guys. I mean, if you're on the fence, I mean, look, if you can, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's expensive, but if you can afford it, why not? It's a beautiful statue. Oh, let me, sh let me show the jet form that he comes in. This is cool because it kind of like leans to the side and I like that. Let's see if I can. Ah. It's really nice, really nice detail.
really nice. They did a good job. And I got one of these. So this is cool. You know how you can. I mean, it's one of those things where people are like, oh, I don't care if I get one of these. And it's like, but you know, if you have like five or six, seven XM Studio statues and you get five or six of these, it's pretty cool to have them on side. I may just have these in my office at work, like lined up, you know? But there it is, guys. Starscream from XM Studios. Beautiful statue. Um, can't wait to see uh, Soundwave. I think that one's gonna be cool. All right, so one more look. There we go. All right, guys.